Greetings Marines, Fio here and today I am making a guide in order to help you get to 100 prestige level because it comes to my attention that people are still missing quite a few levels and still haven't gotten their cosmetics. This video was suggested by our very good friend Eski, long time follower of the channel and awesome human being overall. Shout out to Eski then and let me explain what we're going to be doing here. I have a small list of cards that I picked that are not debilitating to the player and we will be using those in order to speed up the process. The amount of experience needed to finalize your prestige run is ridiculous. It's 6,400,000 XP. To give you an average of what you can hope to get on a quick run of 1-1 one, one on Insane. If you are not using triple XP, you will be getting something along the lines of 30,000 XP. As you can probably understand, this is a lot of runs, a huge lot of them. So we're going to try to optimize this process by using cards that will not make the weaker players pretty much non able to complete the run and I'm going to take it from the best to the worst in order to explain what we should be trying to do. So the very first thing you should have accumulated throughout this month by playing the game is rewarding discovery. Let me show you this one real quick. They are alphabetically placed, so it's not going to be hard for you to find any of them. Rewarding discovery, experience gain is increased by three times upon mission completion. This is the very best thing you can run. Triple XP, every completion of 1-1 one, one ingress will net you 90 plus thousand XP, close to 100,000. It's a 22 to 25 minutes mission if you run it optimally. Run it with a gunner, a technician and a recon. And even the final fight, if you stay all the way behind the elevator, you will have at worst a couple of ultra spawn and you will be safe from the spitters and the little sheds will just be coming around and dying to your firepower. That is the easiest thing you can do, the most consistent thing you can do in order to finish a mission on insane and reap the rewards. Now, the second best card you can use is a new one called on the job learning it's a green it gives you 2.5 times the experience 250 percent it is not as good as rewarding discovery but of course no negative effects to your combat rating it just takes you away all of your credits and gives you 250 percent more xp and then we go to substantial value and we'll go to substantial value for a very specific reason. Uh, not only does it double your XP, but it will also double your credits. So substantial value is here. Two times the XP, two times the credits. If you want to amass credits as well, substantial value is where it's at. The next best thing is hidden knowledge. Two times the XP without any detriments. And one card I would suggest you use since you will be running a recon anyway and you'll have an infinite amount of ammo pretty much. It's mindful capacity. It's 175 and 175 and you lose the rest of your magazine whenever you drop it to reload. If you have a recon, this will not affect you at all. And it's almost twice both in the XP and credits department. Like if you're running really really low on cards this is the next best thing you can use the reason i choose this is because there is pretty much no detriment to what you will be doing there are specific cards like let's say outsmarting the ai or in other cases it's tied to regicide and so on and so forth here we are that give you double the xp and double the credits but uh, you don't want to go fight 5-3 on insane to get double XP and double credits. So ignore all these flashy cards that seem to be good from the numbers perspective because every failure 
you record in this grind is 20 to 30 minutes of your life wasted. When it comes to grinding any kind of game, any kind of activity, what you want is consistency, is a thing that you can do again and again and again without fail. Now, as long as uh, we're talking about 1-1 one, one ingress, we've run it a thousand times on stream with the boys. You can check any of the streams out or my entirety of the insane, insane run list that I have on the channel showing the strats, the choke points, how to handle every single situation in 1-1 one, one ingress. Ingress is by far the most predictable mission of the game. Even if you're running harder cards, ingress is very, very easy to tackle consistently. So, 90,000 plus XP every 22 to 25 minutes means that every 75 minutes you are clocking close to one third of a million okay still it's going to be a lot of runs builds if you have the campaign that game with the dlc pathogen installed you will get the replacers after you complete it if you have the replacers i suggest you use my mini mirv build on the gunner you can find the vid in the end on the list that I will anoint with all the builds. For your technician, run my shock therapy build. And for my recon, run the chain of pain build. Again, all of my builds will be in the list at the end of this vid. These are three very, very powerful builds. Powerhouses and will wipe the floor with the opposition. If you are not running pathogen, then go Vanguard 3.0 on the gunner. PDX 2.2 on the Technician and Chain of Pain on the Recon because Chain of Pain is not tied to anything that came with Pathogen. Second best choice, this will make things a tad more challenging because the new replacers are totally broken and make the characters overpowered for the old campaign. But still you'll be able to tackle it without many issues. Guns, that's up to you guys. Like, you know what I like to use if you've been following the channel. Don't go with underdog weapons to just to upgrade them. In this kind of scenario, in this kind of grind, you want consistency, as I said. One exception, if you've done it 20 times and you need to do it another five, well, you've learned it by heart. You can experiment a bit if you want, just so that you will not be drooling from boredom. But with this setup, this configuration, and this card of card usage, you should be looking at some beefy numbers and get your prestige done in a logical amount of time. So, guys, hope you found this useful. As I said, it was suggested by my friend Eski. Eski cares a lot about the community. So give him a shout out in the comment section below. Sub, like, and share. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified about uploads and streams. And if you really want to help me out, please consider Patreon or get a membership on the channel. It really helps a lot and streamers have to eat as well. Until next time, be well, stay frosty, and always try for perfection, Marines. Cheers!